one thing we've talked about quite a bit is how dating apps have altered the market and resulted in uh, incels and to a certain degree femme cells, but less so. A lot of data showing that young men are more likely to be virgins. Uh, I remember we had Seamus Coughlin on IRL and he said, based. And I said, no, 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 no. Young men should be married and having families. They shouldn't be virgins. So not based, you know, the, on the mm -hmm, surface, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But here's what I see happening. And I talked about this quite a, a long time ago. It used to be that, uh, at least when I was growing up, you didn't have, so you, you, we, uh, 18, I think we had some social media apps in MySpace or something. Mm -hmm. We didn't really use it. Uh, uh, it wasn't, we, we didn't really have dating apps. Okay, Cupid, I think was starting to come around. But for the most part, you're an 18 year old guy, you start college. Now you're in this community of, you know, a few thousand young people and you form social circles. And so people are texting each other. If you have a cell phones, maybe some of you don't because eight, eight, I think 18 was before the ubiquity of the iPhone. Mm. Some people had phones, some people didn't have texting plans. So you're hanging out on campus. You, you meet a girl, you hit it off. Now you're dating her. Her dating options are. 18 to 22 within my college campus. And so sometimes a freshman girl's dating, you know, a sophomore junior guy in college or something like that. But for the most part, it's constrained to the geography. Dating apps come out. And what happens? Now, this 20 year old uh, woman in college is hanging out, you know, in a dorm. She meets a bunch of people. The next weekend, this 20 year old guy texts her saying, hey, you had really fun hanging out with you last weekend. We should totally go and, and, and hang out. Are you around? And she thinks, oh, this guy's kind of cute. I liked him. She says, yeah, let me see what the plans are. Then she goes on Tinder and she gets a message from a guy who's 35. This guy's got a convertible. He makes $85,000 a year. He lives uh, in, a, in a studio apartment facing the lake in Chicago. And he texts her and says, why don't you come hang out with me? We'll drive down Lakeshore, drive in my convertible, grab a bite to eat, mm -hmm. and I'll take you to the lake. And she goes, whoa. Then she texts back the other guy, what are you up to? And he goes, we're hanging out in the dorm. And she goes, that's cool. Hey, I think I'm busy tonight. <laughs> how how is a 20 year old guy going to compete with right. a with a 30 year old 35 year old or 30 year old guy mm -hmm. who's got all of this access he can give and it's not i'm not i'm not putting any uh, uh shame or anything on the woman she's being presented with two options a young man with limited resources choice paradox and and an older guy who can give her a wild and fun night mm -hmm. and and more resources so what we ended up seeing in some of this data was that Guys who were in their 30s were actually having more sex and guys in their 20s were having less sex. Mm -hmm. I think that is indicative of the social yes, because media. because you've thing. opened it up to a global marketplace, right. like I was saying before. And I also want to point out that like a, a lot of people, I've, I've fielded this question before. A lot of people will take you to task on that saying, well, you know, not all, like think about how many women there are in, in college campuses. Like just say between the ages of 18 and like, I don't know, 28, somewhere in there. And are they all going off to fly, getting flewed out to Miami to go to go be on yacht parties? That's not the point. The point isn't if they're actually doing that. The point is that the perception is that they could be doing. But that. but it's not even that. It's it's a pressure system. Oh yeah. If if the if the operation of these apps increases the, the rate by which women are going to older men by five percent, mm -hmm. it's skewing in that direction, creating pressure where it becomes increasingly harder. Then what happens when a twenty year old woman who's in college? posts a video maybe it's one out of ten thousand yep but she posts a video on instagram where she's like yacht party look at it what i got with drake <laughs> yeah and, or there's some dude and he's wearing like he's, he's, he's he works out he's fit mm -hmm. he's got a ton of money and he rented a yacht you can rent these yachts yachts if you're doing like a four hour tour a couple grand mm -hmm. a couple grand so a guy could save up and do it one time or he and his buddies all pull in 400 bucks 500 bucks and then they they pitch together to get the yacht then they tell these young women, hey, I'll fly you out here. For them, it's a quick hookup. That young woman then posts on social media, look what I'm getting to do. Other women are like, why aren't I getting to live this glamorous I could life? Be doing, I'm, yep. I'm hotter than that bitch. I could, get, I could do that. But then here, okay, so here's the darker side of that. All of that, 100% agree. Then you get the Tinder swindler. Oh, right. <laughs> so like, but because essentially what he's doing is he's, he's like, it's never been easier to, um, to manufacture fabricate the cues of higher value today you can go rent a lamborghini go take an instagram shot of it or like uh, you have all these guys or these women who are like go they literally have these uh you know these dummy uh private jet interiors where you can go sit down and pretend like yep. you're like on your your lear jet going somewhere it's bullshit but like people will yep. you can go pay a fee go get your instagram shots and then you know hey look real real I'm jets at. yeah uh, they rent out real jets for photo shoots Someone pointed this out in a viral uh, video on TikTok and Instagram that the jet covers were on mm -hmm. and the woman was walking up and smiling as she got into the jet. And they were like, no one boards a jet with the jet cover already on. She's she's it's she's faking it. Yeah. 
There's a really funny 4chan green text post where a guy is he's like he's like five six manlit overweight. I don't know if you saw this one. <gasps> and he's like, decide to stop sitting around doing nothing. Hire uh, hire friends to make fake music video. Rent rent a boat mm. and wear fake gold chains dancing on it. Start sending messages to it's women. All perception. Buy, he's like buy fake followers. Send messages to women on Instagram saying that I'm a famous rapper and they should come party with me. Mm-hmm. Getting laid. Why aren't you guys fraud maxing yet? Fraud maxing. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> this oh, shit is, it, clearly, clearly, at least we're capturing the fraud essence maxing. of it. Um, this is this shit is bread and bread and circuses. It's yeah, degeneracy seriously. and the people that want. To something more which is a resurgence can find something more um they're like we started a matchmaking site which um is it functions on a biological principle called a sortative pairing where basically a four out of ten should should match with a four out of ten or a five out of ten and people with similar body counts will find each other this is a um evo psych and and biological perspective that people are with social media not doing their best to steward their own options to collocate their own options their wa- young men are wanting they have a higher threshold for uh, uh, a lower threshold for hooking up with chicks and women have a, a lower threshold for getting married and this is making people miss well if we go back to matchmaking we've already had two engagements on this site we opened less than a year ago Folks that are serious about finding marriage, that are serious about being inspired, young, probably apostatized Christian white dudes uh, mostly, but but Christian American dudes, they realize the recre- recreationalization of sex that you're describing here is it's the gay cruiser lifestyle for straights. Like, like <laughs> premarital sex <laughs> is contraception cruiser. is fucking <laughs> what they want if they want a pretty thin fit lovely wifely young wife can still be gotten you got to look in the right place though. and you know what the right place is church. inward barnes and noble church church church, church is part <laughs> I, of it I, I, I but think church has I, been infiltrated partly i agree but i i do believe that there is a what's a, a, uh if, if we're looking at the solutions that are available one of the strongest and most obvious is go to church i'm not christian uh believe in god definitely not an atheist but uh I think it's plainly obvious that people of strong moral structures, so I'm not saying that churches are guarantee you find a good person. Certainly there are bad churches, mm. but I'm saying the likelihood that you, if you want to have a marriage and a family, going to church is 100 times you are more likely to find a life partner, male or female, who is going to have similar values, mm-hmm. agree. We don't get divorced. That is amoral. That is evil. That is wrong. We are in this together through better or for worse till death do us part. You go to a bar and meet a woman, yeah, you're going to get divorced. You meet a woman in church, like you said, with praying, substantially, substantially less That's likely. That's what Vinny O'Shauna was saying that. I did his unusual suspects Can, down at Valuetainment, and he was like, but what do you do? Do you like, you believe in God? Like, how long you have been believing in God over there? Like, how do you hit on someone at church? I but I understand no, what no, you no, mean. No, no, you no, put no, no, by the way, in Sunday morning You said club. return with a V. That's the <laughs> name of the site. We just founded it. It's return with All a right, V. Let me, R-E-T-V-R-N I don't like dot U-S. This is where people can go and meet other serious young people, this is all we talk. I interviewed 170 young women all between last summer and fall. And uh, again, n- none of these are, are perfect people, but they're all, for the most part, thin. Christian, a lot of them are recent reverts. They're not like they've been living their lives in church. And all they say, they say the same thing. They reflect the same desiderata for male. You want, if possible, six feet and six figures. The the dating apps six, do six, better. Six, six, baby. <laughs> six pack abs, six foot tall. But, six but here's the income. thing. But here's the thing. Um, they want men who are, they're, they're slightly more giving on this. They want men who are virgins or low body count, just, just as the other way around. And we pair them on retvrn.us. We pair them with someone that nature should do before social media fucked it all up. A sortative pairing. I have, a, Google I have, I have two anecdotal stories for you. First one is, uh, the, I, I agree with you, first of all, but I also disagree. I, I'm, I'm on both sides of this. My daughter uh, met her husband at church. So she just got married. Uh, she's 25 uh, and she just got married in August. And so, and exactly the way that he's, exp- you guys are describing. Uh, great. I met my wife at a gig that I was playing. It was at a bar 
And it was a, the place that you're not supposed to meet high quality women and you're not supposed to, you know, not supposed to, you know, you, you're never, you're going to, you're going to get divorced. Well, here I am 27 and a half years later, my daughter is now married and looks like we're doing pretty well for ourselves. So again, it's possible. It, it's possible. I'm not saying it's, uh, it helps that my, my wife and I are on the same wavelength, you know, spiritually and, and life-wise and everything else. So, I mean, that's, can it happen? Yes, I'm sure it has happened. Okay, will, will it happen again for other people? I don't know going forward, but I do know this is that it can happen in both situations. I, A lot I, of Christianity has been infiltrated by feminism, particularly yes. the mm -hmm. Roman Catholic church, which is ironic because we have no divorce. And a lot of these Christians don't pray the seven minutes together per day. Tell them to do so if you want to guarantee with 1151, 1150 seconds that they won't. I want to say this as a matter of fact, not opinion. There is a strong likelihood, a strong correlation between a church attendance and higher rates of happiness uh, just based on mm -hmm. all of the ancillary factors around what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't go to church. A lot of people who work here do go to church and that's, that's you know, and, and it's a big deal. Uh, but it's not so much about faith for there is a component of having faith and, 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 uh, having higher rates of happiness. It is quite literally just community, commu communal mm -hmm. bond, people who are there for you. I'm not saying that by walking into a church and praying, you feel happier. I'm saying when you're around people who can support you, you feel happier. When you're around people who can help you with moving, you're happier. When you have community, you are happier. Right. You meet like-minded like people, you will be happier. There's a strong correlation. So I don't need to say church. I say that because it's a traditional thing in this country that people used to do and we lost. It could literally be anything where people come together on a regular basis to share ideas and uh, be together and have community. Then when someone's like, uh, so if, if you're really sad, if you're depressed, maybe you lost your job, maybe uh, you lost a family member, but you have something you consistently do like going to church and you show up, people are like, Ian's looking pretty sad. Once I, Ian, are you all right? And you'd be like, my cousin, man. And they're going to, they're going to, you're going to have people around you. They're going to hug you. They're going to take care of you. That is increasing your rate of support and happiness we right now don't have it because people just lock themselves in their exactly. house. It's also the prayer. There's something about like really focusing on a similar concept together that is very bonding. And I think well, you said you met your wife at, at a bar playing mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of prayer I find playing music You're is damn a, right. that You're vibration. Right. <laughs> like it is certainly like an electromagnetic resonance in your brain that probably stimulates something similar to thinking and speaking. Mm -hmm.